Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be asking and hopefully answering the question of which version of Minecraft console is the best portable version. Because for the longest time, the easy answer has been PS Vita. It's the only, you know, a portable version of the game, and if you just want to play on the go, that's the version for you. However, with the Wii U edition of the game releasing, it has changed things up a little bit. Because if you only want a portable version of the game so you can play in your room, uh, you know, while you don't have access to a TV or something like that, then basically the Wii U edition of the game is a competitor to the PS Vita, and it has quite a few things going for it. And in this video. I'm going to be comparing the two editions of the game so you can know which one you want to get if that's your scenario or if you're just curious about the differences between the games today's video will be covering all of that so I'd really appreciate a like on the video if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like this sort of video but let's get straight into it shall we so let's start by talking about the Wii U edition of the game because obviously it's not a truly portable version of the game it can't be taken on I don't know the bus with you or something like that however it does do several of the things you might previously have wanted a portable console for for instance if you're just in your room and you want to lay on your bed or something and play it well, without needing a TV on then boom you can do that if you want to have the console downstairs because lots of other people use it or you know it needs to be down there but you want to be playing upstairs you can do that using the Wii U gamepad and that's quite cool and it does have a decent amount of range but it has something like five or six meters before things start to get a bit blurry uh, which is about 20 feet in America so yeah you'll do pretty well and uh, if you just want to play uh, portably in your own house then you'll be the, the Wii U version of the game is just as good the just big downside is obviously you can't take it on you know the bus or the train or wherever else you want to be playing and stuff so uh, yeah that is the big first downside but the upsides I think are quite good and kind of make up for it because in the same way the PS Vita has the massive advantage of portability over, you know, the Wii U edition of the game, the Wii U edition has the massive advantage as far as what the game can actually do over the PS Vita. So even though the Wii U edition isn't running the same version of the game as the current gen consoles, the Xbox One, the PS4, right now anyway, it does have quite a few technical advantages over the PS Vita, such as the fact that it will always run at a solid 60 FPS, which is something that, you know, not everyone necessarily cares about. But because Minecraft console uses VSync, which means the frame rate is always going to be a moisture of what the screen's refresh rate is, basically it drops straight from 60 to 30 instead of down to 59. Uh, basically one of the downsides of this is it means you will notice the choppiness of going down to, you know, 59 FPS a lot, lot, lot more because you're going straight down to 30 on the PS Vita, whereas on the Wii U, it seems to be running at a solid 60 just all the time. So for me, that's a very, very, very big advantage, but if that's not what you care about, the render distance is also slightly bigger. I believe the PS Vita has a particularly low uh, render distance compared to the other consoles, but on the Wii U, it is the standard 10 chunks, which means you can see 160 blocks, which is slightly more than normal uh, view distance on the PC. So yeah, it's kind of nice like that you get a better render distance even while just playing on the tablet alone and also it runs at 720p uh, obviously the actual tablet that the if you're just playing on the Wii U itself is only going to be 480p so it downscales a bit but still the base resolution is uh, 720p and it will look just about as good if not slightly better than a 540p which screen which is what the PS Vita is running so yeah technically speaking the game is better in quite a few uh, ways with the uh, you know the render distance and the resolution and the frame rate all just being significantly better than the PlayStation Vita and uh, these you know the other big advantage of this is the fact that because obviously it's not always just meant to be played on the tablet. If you want to switch to the big screen, if you want to play on your, you know, family's big 50-inch TV or whatever, then basically you can actually just, you know, do that pretty much easily. Like, it's basically set up to do that with just one click of a button and turning on your TV. Whereas with the uh, PlayStation Beat version of the game, you do have to actually transfer it to your PS3 using a manual tool. And although, you know, that's not necessarily too difficult, it does take several more steps, requires a separate console. And yeah, if, you, if you're just playing on your house anyway with a portable console, it really does have a big advantage of being the same console rather than having to be the second half of another console which means double the price, double all of this stuff. Wii U just does it all in one, which is a very, very nice uh, thing right there. I think it's quite useful, and it's, you know, a really big thing if you switch between a big screen and between a portable tablet in your house on a regular basis. So yeah, that's got that going for it. But what it also is going for it is the fact that Nintendo exclusive DLC will be coming out, and although it's not here yet, I imagine most people agree that after all the free consoles, the one where you'd want exclusive stuff, if it's good, is going to be Nintendo, because imagine, you know, the Mario mashup pack. Imagine a Zelda mashup pack. This is all going to be really cool stuff, mix of Minecraft. You know, Pixelmon makes so much sense too. There's all these different ideas, and I really do think that Nintendo Exclusive DLC will take the cake when it does come out. However, right now you can kind of argue it's negative because it just doesn't properly exist. So that's the Wii U edition of the game. It's technically better. It's the same console rather than being part of the PS3 uh, version of the game if you want to run it on your uh, big TV. And uh, yeah, that's its big advantages. However, the PS Vita does have quite a few portable advantages. The first one has to be the fact that obviously it's truly portable rather than just semi portable. So if you want to take it on a train with you, if you want to play it on a plane, you can do that. You can really take it wherever you want and that is a really strong advantage for the PS Vita because you know uh, even though it's got the 540p screen and it's got the slightly choppy frame rates being able to play it on the go uh, with that instead of being able to not play it on the go is quite the cool thing so that is that right there but it also has a few other uh, you know nice advantages such as the PlayStation exclusive DLC so if you want to play uh, you know the, the Little Bit Planet mashup pack which is the only one I know of right now you can just do that because it's got the exclusive DLC which is something that the Wii U doesn't have just yet so yeah PlayStation exclusive DLC if you really love the Little Big Planet mashup pack uh, 
uh, and or, you know, just a little bit planet in general. PS Vita's got you covered, but the Wii U will never have that because obviously it's a PlayStation franchise. Uh, also, it has the big advantage of being able to transfer to not just one other console, but to two because you can transfer from your PS Vita to your PS3 and then you can transfer that to your PS4. So if you plan on getting a PS4 at some point in the future, then boom, you know it's going to be able to transfer there for you. Whereas if you're planning on, uh, you know, upgrading to a, a, you know, to a next gen console from your Wii U, then really, you know, there's not too much uh, choice you can do. Hopefully, there'll be a, you know, a link for the next Nintendo console if there's Minecraft of that. But that's a lot of hope to place in that. And it just means, you know, the upgrade path isn't quite as solid. Whereas the PS Vita, if you want to throw your world onto your PS4, guess what? You can do that. And I think that's quite a nice advantage of the PlayStation Vita right there. So the final thing that the PlayStation Vita has going that the Wii U doesn't is the fact that it has leaderboards, it has a difference between survival and creative. Because, you know, there's no leaderboards, no achievements, anything like that on the uh, you know, Wii version of the game. There's technically no benefit to playing in survival or creative. If you're one of those guys that likes not having a, uh, you know, a creative flag that says you've been in creative before to know that you did it on survival, then that's something you can only do on the PlayStation Vita, whereas the Wii U is designed to be played interchangeably between uh, the creative and survival, which is good for some players, but I think for a lot of players, it's like, well, if I was going to do that, I'd just do that. Whereas right now, there's no real benefits doing that. So yeah, if you like leaderboards, you like this uh, trophy achievement stuff, then that is something you can only truly get on the PlayStation Vita. I mean, you can make up your own ones and keep track of whether you've been in creative, but I mean, yeah, that's just an honor-based system, and not everyone likes that. A lot of people like to make sure the game knows that they're keeping track of themselves, or at the very least, that's what I'm kind of like, and that is one of the big selling points of the PS Vita for me, at the very least. So, to kind of conclude this one, which is the better version of the game for Portable? So, as I kind of mentioned, they both have their own things going on. I think if you are really just only going to play this in your house, then I'd say the Wii version of the game might be better, because it's going to be cheaper than buying both a PS3 and buying a PS Vita, buying the game for both, etc. It's going to, you know, save you uh, being able to switch between both those things. It's going to save you quite a few things, and then run better as a result. Obviously, the downside is the fact that you don't get the leadable thing I mentioned. It's not going to be truly uh, portable, and also, it's not going to have updates as fast. Uh, one thing that I didn't truly mention, because it's only been right now, it looks like Nintendo uh, is going to be getting the updates a lot slower than the other platforms, which is a shame, because, you know, their update system is just a bit bizarre like that. But it does mean that if you want to be, you know, keeping up to date with the Minecraft console community, and like, you know, when an update comes out, being able to play it before the update's gone like a month old, which looks like it'll be the, uh, the case with T31 on the Wii U, then, uh, you know, the PS Vita is there for you. It, again, if you just want a cheap, simple, single copy of the game to play locally in your house, then that's that. But I don't really think it was a too fair comparison, but a lot of people did ask me to do it. Uh, to kind of finish up here, because, you know, you might be like, okay, then, so PS Vita's better for the Go, Wii U's better for your house. What about compared to the Pocket Edition? So I've done a full video comparing the PS Vita to the Pocket Edition, but to kind of give the summary on, you know, that as to whether you should play with this portable or that portably, I think, again, if it's going to be in your house, the Wii U Edition completely wrecks the, uh, you know, the Pocket Edition, but I think, uh, you know, when it comes to the Pocket Edition, it has kind of changed a bit because controllers are there now, but I still do think the PS Vita is the most comfortable on-the-go experience. If you want to play Minecraft while you're on a plane, on a train or whatever, it's definitely going to be there for you. So, yeah, I really still want to pick up a PS Vita because I know it has a lot of issues with Minecraft, but they still have been updating it regardless of all this stuff, and maybe, you know, my experience isn't good enough because I haven't played it enough and I've only played it at conventions and stuff, uh, but yeah, I'd love to know what you think about this uh, kind of debate in the comments down below. What do you think is better overall, the PS Vita or the Wii U for running Minecraft? I think it's a complex issue, but I'm sure everyone has their own opinions, and if you do have a PS Vita version of the game, and you're watching this because you're like, ooh, was my console the better one? I'd love to actually know if the PS Vita version of the game, because I know it has leaderboards, does it have its own leaderboards, or does it share leaderboards with the PS3? So, if you know that, I'd love to know the answer in the comments down below, but otherwise, I hope you did all enjoy the video. Please do like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!